up on the uh, Iron Range in northern Minnesota, the water is pretty bad. Up at my cabin, the uh, iron content is really high. It's pretty much undrinkable as it comes out of the ground, and it stains everything. Most people truck in their own water. Um, I made a filter system that actually works, makes good water right from the ground. So this is what I'm doing. Water is going to come in, and it's frankly full of sediment and stuff, so there's a, a 5 micron. These are really cheap filters, so there's a 5 micron filter that just filters out some of the dirt and stuff first. Then it's going to go into this Pentair Pentex here. Uh, the RFFE20BB. Um, and this is the iron reduction cartridge, uh, and here are the stats on it. This sucker is around 80 or or $100, I forget. Um, and it lasts about a year, maybe a little bit more for us here. But that does an amazing job. What I understand is that this filter will turn liquid iron, it precipitates it out, turns it into a solid. So then it's got to go through another 5 micron filter, which will filter out those bits. Then it goes to a water softener, which I'm not sure is entirely necessary, but I had a free one that I found, so it goes through that. And then finally it'll come through uh, a charcoal filter, which will eliminate any odors um, and bad tastes and whatnot. All right, now we're going to objectively test the iron level. Okay, we'll dip it in here for two seconds. One, two, and we're gonna set it out for 60 seconds, and we'll see what our lead level is. You can see uh, this test will test for all of these different things, but we're interested in the iron right there and let's see we're still waiting for our 60 seconds but let's say we're in there maybe okay well, we got 10 seconds left all right we're back at the pressure tank and you can see there is a uh, faucet here I don't want to spray it all over my camera but this water is coming right out of the pressure tank um, before it goes to those filters. So this is our, our unfiltered water source. I'll let it run for just a little bit and uh, oof, I can smell it. It smells fishy, rotten eggy. One, two. Well, the results are in and rather surprising. So my unfiltered iron according to this test is exactly the same. In fact all of them are the same. Those as a filtered. Now there may be some variation because it's been sitting for a long time. I don't know. I gotta think this has more to do with my test strips than actual thing because I know there is less iron because I, I see my I see my shower not turning red immediately. Um, I think in order for this to turn into um, rust color it has to be oxygenated. I'm gonna do some more research into that. But that's an interesting thing that I tested it and I got exactly the same results despite despite all those filters. Mm. I opened up a brand new packet. This thing came with hundreds of these strips um, just to see if maybe because the other one had been open it made any difference. But again, same results. Identical test results between the filtered and the unfiltered. Uh, let me order a different iron test and see if it's our testing kit, which I suspect. Just as an experiment, I tried our test strips in the uh, bottle of distilled water, 
and you're going to be shocked to find out that it produces the exact same results as our, well, this is a little different here, but maybe that's just because it's been sitting, basically the same results. So I'm going to call these, this, test kit crap. All right, we're going to test this water now. I got a sample of the sort of raw before it goes through any of the filters. I've got it after it goes through the filters, and then I have one that goes through the water softener. Let's see what differences we have in iron, hardness, and bacteria. These are the basic test kits that I got off of Amazon. Um, I'm going to do the hardness test here first because it's the easiest. You just dip it in and let it sit for 15 seconds and compare it to this uh, to this strip here as far as color goes. All right, so we've got our hardness strip. We're going to start with the raw one and you just stick it in for one second. Flick off any extra, let it count, and then count for 15. One, two, on, uh, three. I would say about as hard as it gets. Uh, 450. Yeah. All right. Um, I'm going to just go to the softened, and let's take a look at that now. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifty. I would say it's. It's between the 25 and zero. It's less than 25, so it's in the soft range. So that's good. 15, 14, 15. Yeah, so the just filtered is basically the same, obviously, since it's not softened. So let me show you the striking differences here. On that test, We got raw, filtered, and softened. All right, to check for iron, you fill up this cup halfway full, and you take one of these little foil packets, and we're going to dump the contents in here. I haven't done this before, so we'll see how it goes. Okay, let's just put the cap back on and shake vigorously for five seconds. All right, now we're going to wave four. this under water for 15 seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, oh, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, four. 10, 11, 12, 13, I say oh, oh, because I can see right now we're absolutely off the charts. I saw it go purple and then it went red. So we're, <laughs> we're I don't know what we're at. We're well above five. Um, let's try, let's 14. try the other one. Oh, yeah, good. <laughs> so this is much more reasonable. This is more, I would say, point six. Sort of between point three and, I guess, yeah, it's a little lighter than point six. Okay, so that was a filter. Now let's see if running it through the 13, softener does anything. 14. 15. Ooh. Look at that. It's zero. It does do something. Zero. Ha! Huh. Okay. So, I went from way over five to way less than, well, I, I don't know if I, I can't go less than zero, but I went to zero. That's perfect. Okay. Um, so I think what that proves is that the uh, filter does a really good job. It'll take it down to a, a nominal uh, 0 0.3 uh, parts per million. Um, even then, if you run it through the water softener, that'll take care of all the rest of it. And that goes from a very high iron load. I can't really tell what it is because it's, it's, it's off the charts on here. Um, I'm going to do one more test on the uh, 
softened and filtered water. I think I got sick from a glass of water uh, right after I plugged it in. I'm guessing there was a bunch of bacteria and whatnot along the lines and I didn't clean it out. I bleached it out. Now I'm going to make sure that um, the water itself is clean and um, bacteria free. Alright, it's filled with water. Now we're going to shake it until, let's see, uh, until all this stuff is dissolved at the bottom. Alright, so we've got everything dissolved now. I guess we just let it sit someplace. Uh, oh, for 48 hours, between 68 and 77 degrees. Well, that's what it's going to have to be. 48 hours. Okay, so hold on for 48 hours. And we're back. And it has stayed yellow, which means no bacterial growth or whatever. So we're good to go. Let's go have a glass of water. No odor. Very good. Totally drinkable. Cheers.